Turning to more local coverage now, a Warwick-based graphics company is helping to launch a new website to help small businesses impacted by COVID-19. Oceanside Graphics has teamed up with Lieutenant Governor's Office as part of the Gift It Forward initiative. Alexandra Leslie is working remotely from her home, and she joins us now with the details. Hi, Alex. Good morning, Danielle. Well, Oceanside Graphics had to lay off its staff just last week after their clients had to end their contracts with the company, but then came a new idea which has allowed the business to reinvent itself and even hire back workers. Now, Justin Gonterek says he ended up emailing with Lieutenant Governor Dan McKee, and they came up with the Gift It Forward program about a week ago. McKee took a conference call with about 30 other businesses to figure out the details and how to put Rhode Island businesses in one network. This includes everything from dog walkers, to musicians. The site features three main resources. Small business owners can register their business so customers can purchase gift cards. Rhode Islanders can also nominate local businesses to be included in the gift card database. And larger companies who want to help support small businesses, they can submit contact info to be paired with one in need. Now, the co-owner of Oceanside Graphics tells Eyewitness News that after the website launched, there was an immediate response. But just in a couple hours, we have uh, just about 50 people that have registered to be on the site. So it's, it's pretty amazing considering the small amount of time that this has been out there. It, it's, it's a ray of sunshine in, in a dark time. And Oceanside Graphics is still working on creative projects despite no major work right now. They printed stickers to help first responders who may be exposed to the COVID-19. And they also made face shields. Now the owner tells us they already have orders for those and that they plan to distribute them to a nursing home facility. Live in Pawtucket, Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.